What's the matter? Is something wrong? I have too many enemies. Enemies? You? Who? You know. Cops, administrators, corporations, reactionary intellectuals. <laughs> Those are my enemies. It certainly makes a lot of enemies. What about you? What are you up to? Mm, not much. Writing articles, as always, some, some books. But this year I have a new project. New project? I want to do cultural action. What's a cultural action? I don't think anybody knows yet, but uh, I want to try an experiment. Culture and action are old words. Yeah, but uh, culture's cut off from action now. At least it seems that way to me, so it doesn't interest me. No, I agree. You agree? Yes. <laughs> hmm. What interests me is um, that culture gives control of the world. Concretely. When are you going to do it? We'll start in two weeks. The experiment's going to take a year. What's the experiment? Uh, well, with a whole team. We're going to try... In what area, for example? In acting. Theater? Theater, yes. A theater in Buffalo. Buffalo Theater Company. We're going to try to... Uh, so you move out of town? Yes, of course. I'll go to Buffalo. It's not that far. You're not sad to leave the city? No, I'm delighted. Delighted? Yes, I, I can't work here anymore. Anyway, I don't write when I'm in New York. Maybe when I start this experiment outside the city, well, this action outside the city, I'll, I'll write too. Is it important to take action? Mm, yes. We can manage to do something effective. I, I don't want to do something or start something just for pleasure, you understand, or so, soothe my conscience. So why start any action? Well, it seems to me at that level that there really is something to be done. To take today's men and women and, and put them in a position to receive the world as it is, not only to receive it, but to, to act on it, to have a hold. But that means you're going to leave the university. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave if that's what you want to call it. <coughs> no. I'm going to break with an attitude that is pervasive in the university, which considers that the others, those whom we address, are mere receivers. Uh, I, what about what's happening in the Ukraine? The Orange Revolution. Isn't that important? Well, yeah, of course it's important. For example, taking to the streets, I think it's great. Well, yeah, you think it's great, but have you thought about what would happen afterwards? They have to go back inside? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> That reminds me of something. Uh, do you remember Natalie? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, her parents voted for Bloomberg. <laughs> that doesn't matter. In November, before preparing for my exams with you, she and I picked apples by the Hudson. Now, it seems to me that doing manual labor beforehand helped me pass the exam. That helped you understand what I was saying, talking about philosophy. <laughs> yeah, a little. I think there's a link. In January, I didn't do any work beforehand, and I failed. Well, it's a possible link. What's the conclusion? You should pick apples? So you agree with me? Something's wrong with the university. Well, yes, that's apparent enough, so? Many things. You agree education's the big problem? Oh, well, yeah, it's one of the biggest problems, so? Shouldn't we start from scratch? Yes, but how? I have an idea. Oh. You have an idea. Tell me your idea if you can. You see, what disgusts me is teaching. It's always a question of class. Culture is class culture. For example, you know, the Tutankhamun exhibit. Why did all the people go run out to see it? Gold. Even the workers go act bourgeois to go look at the gold. Because if it were in paper, they wouldn't bother. I understand that very well, but your idea... Close the universities. You're going to do that by yourself. How? With bombs. Bombs? You're going to throw bombs? Listen! Once we kill students and teachers, they'll stop going. 
the university will close. You're going to do that by yourself? Well, there are two or three of us. Oh, yeah, two or three. Look, in the 70s, when the Weather Underground blew up government buildings, you defended them. Even when presses were against them. Most of academia was against them, but yes. not you. That's true, but there was a difference. What difference? Well, there was a whole people behind the Weather Underground. There were men and women who were fighting for their freedom. And I, too, want my freedom. Yeah, you want your freedom, but not willing to go that far. When I asked you before, you said only two or three. But many people just don't realize it yet. We think for them. It's for them. You're not going to start a revolution for others? You agree working is part of the struggle. Yes, but what is the struggle? But, look, if I want to learn revolutionary theory and methods, I have to participate in a revolution. Well, yeah, you can participate in a revolution, but you don't have to invent. If I want knowledge, I need practical experience. Yes. Do you agree? Yes, only revolutionary practice implies a knowledge of the situation. The situation is bad. Well, we know that. This will make it known. Do you know whether there's a, a possible remedy? You say authentic knowledge comes from practical experience. Yes. You agree First, with that. First hand experience. Does it tell you the content to give your action? Because terrorism is just a start. It is terrorism, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, well, terrorism supposes underlying bases. We've studied for two years. You've studied it. How have you studied it? We lived the problem. Lived it. You're no longer a student. You may know nothing. I still know a few things. No. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. I only know a few things. Not as much as you, of course. Me. I'm in it. Well, I haven't suffered directly, that's true. I suffer, and I'm not alone. But what's the point of killing people if you don't know what you're going to do afterwards? Do you know what we'll do? Know what we'll do? Oh. What will you do? I don't think you know. You only know that the present system is, is awful and you're impatient to end it. They're not awful, just bad. Okay. What happens afterwards is not my work. You don't care. No, I don't care. Afterwards, I'll continue studying the situation. Oh, well, where will you study it? I'm only a worker producing revolution. Very good. Then be a worker and really work. The way you're going now, it won't last for more than a week. Oh, yeah, why? Because you'd be arrested long before. You ran from the cops? That lasted a long time. Yes. Because there were sympathizers in the 70s. Because people understood that things were changing. I mean, you have sympathizers, but they won't go as far as mass murder. And it is mass murder. So we need help because some radicals are alive with liberals to denounce us. Yes. We didn't know. Uh, you're not prepared. The government and big corporations are in league now. All right. But your action will lead to nothing. If it can't be upheld by a group, by a class, by a large number of men and women who agree entirely and in willing well, to... Well, me and the young Russian nihilists, for example. Uh, they made bombs, criminal attempts. And then the Revolution of 17 came right afterwards, in October. You think you can compare Tsarist Russia with the situation in contemporary American? Yeah, you... Uh, even uh, if we can't... Uh, Marxist. Uh, even if we can't draw a comparison, we can draw a lesson from the Orange Revolution. The lessons you draw are very abstract. You can't draw a lesson by superposing... Do you think it's a mistake? Yes, it's a mistake. Yes, you're heading toward a dead end. 